here, my dudes. We are here. So, once again, greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's going to be a glorious day, my dudes. We're going to get started off. I'm going to go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, oh, before we get started, grab your cup, your mug, your glass. Perhaps you have a tanker, chalice, or a stein, maybe a canteen, jug, or flask, a vessel of any kind. You fill it with your favorite liquid. I like my morning coffee. Enjoy me now for the gloriousness, the stupendosity that is the simultaneous sip. Go! Okay. Let's see what we got here. So, we're going to start out on an... I forgot to tweet out this morning, but uh, the stream's already <clears throat> going on, so I think I'm just going to leave it. I think I'm just going to leave it be. I think we're going to try it on Expert. I'm not going to go... I'm not going to do normal scrub. And story is just... Yeah, uh -huh, sure. Let's see. Iron Man new. Play with a single save that updates automatically as you progress through the game. Failed missions must be restarted in Iron Man. Your game choices and their consequences are permanent. I think we're going to say no for now on that. Hardcore. Failing any mission results in total campaign loss. Wait, what? <laughs> that sounds weird. Um, add five levels to the city anarchy meter, decreasing the strategic difficulty of the game. That might be something we do later. Definitely something we're probably going to do later. Show subtitles. I want subtitles. Heal between encounters. Ooh. 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 Hmm. The default is half heal, so we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there today. All right, let's continue. So there is a mods button on the main. Two minutes out. Hey, Godmother. Is this like the old days? XCOM swooping in and taking it to the bad guys? I wouldn't know. I spent most of the world training resistance networks. Like mine. And for your many long years of service. Watch it. <laughs> XCOM attaches you to an untested <laughs> squad and pushes it into the field before it's ready. How is this not like the old days? I'm just happy to be here. I missed out during the war. Wish I could have pulled my weight. For which side, exactly? I find that very hurtful. Sure thing, Advent. <clears throat> We are through the checkpoint. Ooh. I was never actually Advent. But they were fitting you for a blocky helmet. Stow it, both of you. Oh, we here. Snark. Three Snark ones is real. gave us the old clear. Grab your gear and prepare to move in. Okay. Whisper, what's your status? And what's Verge's ETA? Comms are working, obviously. Verge is en route. How? Verge can't drive. He, um, uh, he hailed a cab. To a hostage situation? Focus. Whisper, any surprises in the next room? A handful of hostiles, unaware of your approach. Chimera squad, take positions. Prep for breach. Okay, it could be the fact that they put the best up front, but the dialogue has already made me giggle at least two or three times. So, Chimera squad begins every mission by setting up breach points to get jumps on the enemies. Preview the enemy presence at each breach point, and modifiers will be applied. Then assign to agents to the, and then assign agents to the available slots to determine the order in which they will enter the fight. Okay, so basically we have the main, uh, we have one entry point here. We got the main door, and sure we'll do cherub. It's got a nice little shield there. Does it actually show you what they have? No, it does not. Does it tell you anything about the character? Successful shots on enemies will crit. Okay, so I did watch a little bit of the of the developer stream yesterday, but it was like 20 minutes while they were actually playing playing a mission. So, all right, my dudes, I, this is it. We've got Cherub, Godmother, and Terminal. Let's rock and roll. Reaching in. All right, now this is the this is the breach mode part where we get to determine what happens. So we get to do, I think we get to make as, I think we get to just stand here and make any decision we want. Oh, look at that dude, he's alert, right? Aim is 100%, 133% chance to crit. So he's got three to four damage. So if he crits, he'll probably kill him. So strategically, he's probably the best. I don't know what the difference between surprised and alert is technically I would assume 
that alert means that they can make an action immediately or that they'll be really high up on the um, on the turn order. So I'm going to go for the alert guy first. And we're going to see how this, how this plays out. Oh, right in the gut. Okay, I'm liking this breach bow. This is pretty funny. She's got four to six damage. So basically instant death for e either or either one. Oh, here we go. Surprise enemies receive a defensive penalty and won't reach, won't re, won't react during the breach sequence. Got it. Okay, so that's, all I needed to do was read. That's, that's what we got there. Let's see where to go. Oh, oh, she's got a shotgun. She's got a shotgun. I just realized, and I, I just realized we're probably not gonna have snipers in this game. That makes me sad. That makes me sad. Nice submachine gun. This is this is this has to be something that I don't like. Is the fact that we auto take cover? And I'm not keen on that. It's just like what if they put me in shitty cover? As I often say, the lessons from our past inform the present. Blah blah blah. History. Focus. All right, turns and moving. Agents and enemies take their turns one at a time, and their current place in the order can be seen on the unit flag above their head and next to their portrait in the timeline, which both update after each turn. So that's cool, okay, so yeah, it tells them who's going next, all right. Agents have two action points each turn to use for their movement. God, it's always the double action point thing, man. Can't get, can't get rid of that, can we? Ah, look for a blue shield to move into cover for a defensive bonus before shooting or move to move out to flank the enemy for a better chance to hit more info turns and moving using the timeline to determine when enemies will take their turn in order to neutralize them or protect teammates some advanced abilities and equipment will allow you to manipulate the order of the timeline some actions like shooting will end the turn regardless of how many action points are available all right cool okay so you can select other people what is this oh hello okay so she, she it's a little it's a little bored excellent so she has the ability to safeguard gives you 20 defense miss shots have a chance to deal partial damage graze my dudes it's graze does she have a shotgun is that what she's is that what she's rolling with here that doesn't tell me a damn thing is it can you hover over it no she looks like she's got three shots left what is this? What's this thing? Come on. You're not giving me enough information, XCOM. Oh, okay, so that's uh it looks like ability score there. The map size is usually small. Yeah, I, I kinda gathered that. This is like SWAT team nonsense, so it looks like no matter where we go, that dude is flanked. Who is next? He is next. Um So I could move. I'm gonna move here. So, select an ability from the ability bar and open the shot HUD to enter. Okay, Overwatch. See, this is cool. I like this. It takes a reaction shot at the first enemy to move within a cone, activating Overwatch as the turn. Okay, so this guy will probably not do anything. 81%, 65. Um. I mean, it is a 65% chance, but we could kill him if we hit him. And, uh, Godmother can then move up and take a shot at the dude who's chilling in the back, so. Oh, no! No! Only three damage! No! Don't hurt me! Oh, thank God. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> now, I see Godmother here is going to, uh... Who goes after Godmother? Okay, you do. Uh, what is her What is her shot? 58 from here. Does it say why? So, weapon range is plus 16. So the fact that, so the shotgun really doesn't give a damn about, about range, does it? Come on, move here. I wanna see, I wanna see how this, I wanna see what works. I wanna see what works here. Okay, what's it? 97% chance, 33% chance to crit. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. I got to admit, 
I'm not really liking their hustle, but these these death animations are top notch. That shield reminds me of a mod in War of the Chosen where you can carry a ballistic shield. They might have picked it up from there. And of course we have Terminal here who's gonna flank this fool. Come on, girl. Ooh, eight only 86. What what is your what is your malfunction, woman? 86% you're just like just put it in his skull. You see this? Huh. Oh crap. Contact. Let me guess, he'll never be able to do that again. I hate when they do that. Clear. Yeah, I won't be able to do that. <sighs> what took you so long? Had to unpack a breaching charge. Good man. Not exactly. You know what I mean. I always do. So creepy. Don't ever change. Verge, form up. Any hostiles in the next room? Yes. I can feel them. Are we gonna do another breach? Sweet! I gotta admit, I'm kinda liking this. This is, this is pretty cool that the... Ooh, what's this? Enemies deal plus one damage. Agent damage likely. All right, so multiple breach points. Some encounters offer more than one breach point, which differ risks and benefits. Consider whether to split the squad or send them all through the same location. Agents entering the same breach point will enter the encounter together and be closer in the timeline. The order the breach points will enter is shown next to their name and changed using the arrow. Okay, so... Oh! Oh. Um... The last unit through this door does plus three damage. So if I send Terminal in first, and then I send Cherub in, he will have plus three damage on his little pistol. That'll probably work. That'll probably work good. And what we're, we're probably gonna do is we're probably gonna send, um, probably send Godmother and Virgin on this one. I don't. I don't know why. Which sorry, I like the shotgun. She, she, I think she's got this. I think she's got this. I think there's nothing much more to do. Let's roll. Reaching. Open sesame. We can waffle sauce all day. It's not going to help. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's surprised. He's alert. Oh, he's aggressive. Aggressive enemies will shoot XCOM if they aren't neutralized during the breach sequence. So we got surprised. What is this dude? He's alert. Okay. What does Cover Rush do? I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. I'm pretty sure that means rush to cover. I don't want to click it, though. Oh, we can, oh, you can. Okay, you can make the details go away. So... What does Cover Rush do? Oh, 0% chance. Gain... Bonus defense and dodge on these units first turn. Okay. Alright. That probably would be a good idea if I wasn't so in need of killing this dude. Come on, girl. Oh, there it is. Oh, it kills them. Mm, it pauses mid-flight. That's so good. Where's the alert guy? 37 in the back. Damn. Damn. Hmm. 91. He's right in front, though. What does he have? Armor? Is that what that is? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for one of the dudes who's. Let's go for the easy one. He's just standing out in the open. Let's make it happen. Oh, Verge! You're killing me, bro. You're killing me. 81 for her. 79 on. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that guy, that guy's, uh, that guy's got it. All right, so 81 down there. Hmm, I think we're going to go for this one. Right in the face. Oh, she got him! Now he's going to do bonus damage. Right? Six to seven. Take him down, buddy. Oh, he missed! No! No, that's the wrong one. Damn it! Each agent has a unique ability they can use every turn, eventually gaining more abilities from their class and equipment. 
Most agents have a subdue ability, a non-lethal attack, that is low damage but guaranteed to hit. Use it to earn additional rewards for certain mission objectives. Cherub uses a charge bash ability instead of subdue. Okay. Okay, who do we got? We got Godmother and then who's going next? Where's that guy at? Oh, he's standing out in the open. Oh, man. Come on, dude. Come on. That guy's standing out in the open. All right. Um, what's your what's your shot? 88. Who is this guy? What turn is he? Okay, cool. So you hover over him down here and they pop up right here. That's, that's awesome. And he's going number four. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna do this. What, what, you're going six? Cause this right here will give me, give me cover against him. She'll be easily flanked. When does Verge go? What is this, subdue, scatter shot? Short range cone dealing, oh, oh. So, how many, how many squares is it? Counting with Tango, one, two, three, four, so it's four. So it's one, two, three, four. No, it's one, two, three, four. So I wouldn't be able to hit him and, right? It's one, two, three, four. Uh, I mean, it might actually hit both of them. I doubt it though. I doubt it. And I don't know if it's worth it, to be quite honest. Uh, numero six over here is probably going to be my, my worst enemy. Um, damn, Cherub doesn't go till for a hot minute. I can't believe he missed that shot, dude. The 80%. Oh, it kills me. No, no. You were the chosen one. You were the chosen one. He uses two ammo, too, huh? Excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's one, two, three, four. I mean, it, it definitely does only looks like it's very short range. One, two, three, four. So if I... I mean, it does look like if I stand right here, I should be able to hit his ass, right? You know what? You know what? I gotta, I gotta find out. We gotta find out sometime. Can we... Does saving work? Is that a thing that we can do in XCOM? Uh, let's see. Um, where's the options? There we go. Options. Interface. Bindings. Menu. Nope. Tactical shortcuts. It does not appear as if there is a quick save. Uh-oh. 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 That's, that's not good. That's not good, boys. No quick save. Then how can I scum lord? No. 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 We must have the scum. We must have the scum. All right. Well, I guess we'll just uh, I guess we'll just deal then. Enable Windows key? No. Show target preview? Wait, what? Oh, yes. I want target preview. Show radial blur during breach? Um, uh, we'll keep it on for now. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm, I want it or not. <laughs> it does seem a bit like, Meh. but uh, we'll be all right. Okay, my dudes. All right. So let's save and exit. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, whoa. Okay, I do not like this. That is no, no, no. All right, let's do it. Screw you guys. Oh, no. Look at that. It will hit him. Oh, God, dude. That, that sucks. That really sucks. Screw it. I got him. I totally got him. All right, now what about Verge? Stupor. Verge physically stuns a target for one or two actions and adds them to... The neural network cannot target enemies in the neural network. Battle madness. Verge sonically attacks them, making them go berserk and attack a nearby target. Adds them to the neural network. Okay, so what's the chance here? Hundred, hundred. So the problem is, is that if I if I make him go battle madness, he could he could attack her. 
might attack somebody else. A nearby target. I don't think he can see the other guys. So I'm gonna try, we're gonna go with Stupor first. Give me your mind. Melt! Oh no, only one action. No, oh, he's gonna shoot her anyway. God dang it. Well, um, we could subdue this dude. That might be fun. Low damage attack. Screw it. Let's do it. Die, fool. Die, fool. No. No. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. 58, 51. Um, can't I? I really wish it would show the... F <laughs> I'm so used to perfect information. Okay, that is a flank. You can see it right there. That is a flank. It doesn't mean she's actually going to kill the bro. Into the action. It does not mean she's actually going to... 96%. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus, you got the height advantage, though. 20. Okay. Let's go, girl. Come on. Oh, that's it. That's it. Expunging target. No! No, my dudes are taking damage. Oh, I'm, I'm pitiful. Cherub places an energy shield on self or ally to prevent damage from the next attack. Cherub gains one charge when energy shield is destroyed. Does not automatically end the turn. Cool. Um, oh, no, we can't charge dash. Well, I mean, we do have a 50-50, right? We do have a 50-50, and these other guys have got the ability to shoot his ass. So We're going to go ahead and take the shot. Oh! You little bastard. So full cover gives you plus one armor? I'm running low. Interesting. Interesting. That's nice. That's nice. I think we're going to subdue him. Uh, it does two to three damage. Arrested the Smack! Smack. We did it, boys! We did it! Set up the breaching charge. I do like to make an entrance. All right, we got a window to go through? No. Nope. No, nope, just the explosions. So, some breach points can only be accessed with special equipment or abilities. Once an agent with the required asset is in the first slot, the other agents can be assigned. Excellent. So, is it Cherub? Nice, dude. Okay, so Godmother. Then I want Verge. And then we're going to get Terminal up next. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance will be surprised. All right. Let's rock and roll, boys. Wait, hold. Ah, oh, come Hostage on, dude. confirmed in the next room. We need more than that. 3-1 PD has a live feed. Patching through. Word. If you surrender, I will advocate leniency. Enough. This oh, the mayor is a sectoid. It is about XCOM's role I got in it. our liberation. I see you read the placard. It doesn't say how they went soft and got weak. Now, it's up to us to light the spark. Yeah, so I know. Detonator. I know. Go, now. How's this for an entrance? Xenos scum or Xenos scum? It's so diverse, lol. Yeah, I got it from you. So that's pretty much what this is. I gotta admit that. So you're surprised. You're surprised. Right, we got hundreds there. He's alert. He's alert. And he's alert. Damn, we do not have good shots on these bros. Um... He's also probably not going to kill them. So, he's more likely to kill the dudes standing out of cover. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to breach fire you. Oh, he got the kill. Yes. That's it. That's it. And what about you? 61s. I mean, she's got a better shot. 56 at the dude in the back. I'm gonna take this guy. Skadoosh! Oh, she got it! She got it! Verge. 63. Three to five in the back. Take it, baby! Already oh, miss! Of course he miss. And she does three to five damage. Well uh 50. Yeah, we'll take the 50. Yes! Do it, Bork. Do it, girl. All right, no, we're not going to get no heals, are we? He's I'll protect down. you. Oh, no, he goes first. No! Down. No! Down. On it. 
Verge, with me. Protect that was totally the supposed to happen. Confirmed. <laughs> that was totally supposed to happen. Agents that lose all their RP will begin bleeding out. HP will begin bleeding out over several turns, indicated by the number on the timer. The mission will fail unless the agent bleeding out is saved with stabilizability or the encounter is completed before the timer expires. Of course, it was his turn. So she could stabilize, um, but I think I want to shoot this dude in the face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Who gets to go next? Verge? Yeah, I'm going to shoot this dude in the face with a shotgun. Yeah, we're going to go here. That way we're flanking both of them. And right in the face. Oh! Oh, I love the death animations. They're so good. So good! And... Let's see, you can subdue... Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna subdue. So we could either 81, really, Verge, really, bro. Um, I mean, we could just we could just get right up on him, right, and then fire the weapon. So let's get some. Let's get full cover. On the way. Go. And then we're gonna fire right in his face. Verge, bring the pain, baby. No. Virgil! Why? On my way. God dang it, son. Oh, dude, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed! Alright, we're gonna safeguard. Wait, no, no, that's not the right one. Stabilize! There we go. Boom. Alright, and that guy goes next. I can't subdue. I could overwatch, but, uh... It doesn't actually look like it's going to hit them because they're... See, it, 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 it takes a reaction shot. I, I guess it's because she can't see them or something like that. Yeah, that guy's going to go next and he is gonna he's going to let Godmother have it. So... Hmm. I did not realize you could get up there. Help me! Love it, girl. Love it. All right, terminal. Gotta get moving. Get in there. Closing on target. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. On target. Wait, what? He missed. Did he really miss her? That's hilarious. Okay, he, he's overwatching. Um. Well, I mean. Skadoosh. Oh, four damage. Come on, girl. You couldn't crit on that one? You couldn't crit on that one for me? All right, who goes next? It's him. Uh, terminal goes. So, we can subdue. We can subdue the hardliner. But then he'll get to go. I can technically subdue both of them. So, I think I'm going to. 100% chance to hit. Hostile is under arrest. Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> I gotta admit, the animations are a little bit awkward for me. City on fire. Yeah, there you go. Chero, are you still with us? Yeah, I uh, think so. Only thing injured is my pride. And your diaphragm. And a few ribs. None of this should have happened. Most people say thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, of course. Yeah, exactly. But these people don't have the capability for any of this. Explain. I read their threat assessment. A month ago, these insurgents were all talk and no capability. The greatest threat they posed was to bottles of alcohol. Why tell us? That's Why hilarious. City <laughs> 31 shows the world how humans, hybrids, and aliens can keep a lasting peace. I'm the public face of this. Tonight, someone wanted what I represent to go up in flames. We're not in town for local intrigue. I know. But right now, you're the only ones I'm certain are fighting for that same peace. Can I count on your support? Yes, ma'am. No! No! So wounded. So wounded. All right, well, that went... Oh, we got a good rating. Yeah, it didn't feel like it was very good. We captured four enemies, so there's an 80% chance to earn 20 intel. Okay, so the amount of enemies that you subdue determines your chance to uh, gives you a greater chance of rolling intel for the mission 
Error! Greetings and salutations, friend. How are you, buddy? Package delivered to 31 PD. We just completed our first she mission. Truly believes what she says. That's why she's in charge. Not too shabby for our first official mission. Don't do that. Don't do what? Celebrate before a mission is complete. It's. <laughs> it's bad luck. Was that the mayor? Tonight, Mayor Nightingale perished in an explosion at City 31's Memorial Museum. The identity of her assailants is unknown at this time. The city council asks citizens to remain... So she gets vaporized the same day XCOM sends Chimera Squad to our city? You hear that voice in your head? That's me telling you to wake up! Despite opposition, Mayor Nightingale's deciding vote brought the reclamation agency to the city. Without her support, Chimera Squad's continued presence is an open question. Interesting. Okay. Welcome home, Chimera Squad. The director wants to speak with us. Thanks for getting the mayor killed. Also, you're fired. Right. That's not helpful. You're right. I'm sorry. I'll patch the call through when you're ready. I followed your action at the museum and its aftermath. Director Kelly, I take full responsibility for what happened. Stop. I sent you to City 31 because I believed you were ready. Tonight, you surpassed my expectations. 3-1 yeah. PD requested help within three hours of your arrival in the city. You answered immediately. Going in, you were under-equipped and down an agent. You adapted, as we trained you to do. And let's not forget, you rescued the mayor. You delivered her to safety as the city requested. Don't blame yourself for an outcome you couldn't control. Yeah, it was the Instead, city's fault she died. Focus on what's next. I set up the map table. Ready when you are. <laughs> oh, God. Head over there. I'll hold. I have a feeling that this that they're gonna like there's gonna be some super hardcore twi twist in this where she's where the mayor is literally the one that like she faked her death or some crazy nonsense like that, dude. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that. It's good. What? Because like like let's be real, dude. Our culture. One of the reasons the culture is getting stagnant is because all the all the same all the stories have been told before, right? Most of the main stories. That's why character character stories are so much better because individuals going through the same thing over and over again different people and how they react to it is, is definitely more of a of a thing you can get you can get into now whereas actual twists and events it's like we've seen it all we've seen it all you're getting a hard time getting used to the new turn system i'm not gonna lie i quite like it i just that was uh, that felt like a really 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 kind of waffly introduction I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if you hadn't, if you don't know XCOM, I kind of get the feeling you'd be like, "What the hell is all this stuff? What what is going on?" But they made it fairly simple, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's get back to the game, shall we? Uh, yeah, sectoid newcaster. Of course, there's a sectoid newcaster. This is the critical target waiting on your city map. There is a critical target. Okay, let's welcome click on to the map. City 31. Hi. During Advent's occupation. The city was a fortress supporting an active starport. Very Five cool. Five years after XCOM won the war, it's home to aliens, hybrids, and humans alike. There's new industry, self-government, and local agriculture to support the varied populations. Against all nice. odds, this city thrived after the war. There were no retributive attacks. Until tonight. We um, don't know that. that? Not yet. But we can find out. That's got to be propaganda. That's got to be propaganda. There's the no way there was no there was they no retributive good attacks. Officers today. Give them what they need and see what we can learn. Like there's no way that didn't happen. Oh, there's no way that did not happen. Um, that's just how people are. Let's be real. The map is where you see the status of City 31. And current targets, we can spend the, send the, send our squad to respond to. Chimera squad can respond to one target per day, after which they automatically, the day automatically advances. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. So now we're back to the old. You get so used to Long War and a bunch of the mods, it's like you forget what the original game, how it worked. So we're gonna have to make choices on which missions to go to. Okay. Like exclusion, exclusively, I would, I would assume. 
All right. Targets come in two types. Missions, which are tactical targets. Squad will go into combat. Situations or strategic targets. Squad can take care of these without inner combat. The current targets change every day, so watch the city carefully for new priorities. Review the situation in downtown. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of cool. I like I like the cartooniness. I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Still not, still not. Still don't know if I like it or not. We'll see. Needs uh, SP uh, 31 PD needs a port needs help pouring through the aftermath of tonight's attack. Mayor Nightingale's death has the city on edge. Let's do what we can to help. I'm assuming there's nothing else we can do, so let's do this. Sending APZ to resolve the situation will automatically advance the day. Um, is there nothing else I can do? Critical mission. The critical mission must be completed to advance the day. Okay, so that is the critical mission. I can back out, but there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Okay. Yes. We've done what we can. Commissioner Muloff pass along our thanks for us helping the officers weigh on this attack. Okay, cool. Your work with 3-1-PD opened a few doors. Here's what we know. A crude plasma bomb killed the mayor. The insurgents had no access to materials for that. Does that mean they had outside help? Most likely. There are three uh, groups exactly in City 31 with access to this kind of ordinance. Oh, hello. Choose next investigation. Uh... Okay, a loose network of human scions, the progeny. Their vision of City One, City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. Okay, Gray Phoenix, an organization of alien scavengers. Ooh, I like these guys. They have quietly amassed a, the kind of weaponry reclamation is mandated, mandated to recover. And is that Sacred Coil? Thank you, XCOM, for getting this thing out in my way. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. Oh! Oh, religious zealots. That's just great. That's just great. Um, let's go... I kind of like the progeny. I kind of like I kind of Progeny like have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need, and forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. Director, these are local criminals. Isn't that 31 PD's jurisdiction? True. The Reclamation Agency supports local police, but we're also required to recover dangerous material. From those who would do the world harm, and each of those groups is neck deep in the stuff. So what next? Focus on a single group. Investigate, dismantle their operations, and take them down. Meanwhile, we look for any links to the mayor's death. Either way, dangerous organization is off the streets exactly the city wants justice for mayor nightingale this is how we help them achieve it hmm. tackling investigations every investigation has three stages groundwork from this first mission learn about the faction and their methods operations hidden missions that must be revealed then completed to knock out the faction's main plans take down stop their final attack and end their threats city 31 I, I do remember them saying on the live stream yesterday that this that the game is about 20 hours long and I've, I've like I heard there were three enemy factions and that the game was 20 hours long and I just blinked and I was like what how do how do you have that many missions in that amount of time and it's like well when you look at the size of the missions and how quickly they go you can kind of maybe see that okay we need to know more about the progeny before we can proceed on our investigation human scions we don't know the leader I can see this. I can see the modding on this being amazing. Uh, is that is that all we can do? Is that, is that it? Okay, visit the assembly area. Okay, view available projects. Check it out. Research. Quarters sent us an assembly. Full science. And with the right patterns, we can build anything. Sweet. Or we could with the latest version. What you're looking at is the extremely finicky 2038 model. Gotcha. It'll take time to stress test our patterns, but once we have them, we're good to go. 
Assembly projects are how you get new and better equipment. Each project can unlock new items for XCOM supply, new weapon and new armor upgrades, or a variety of other useful things. Agents assigned here decrease the time it takes to complete the project. Sweet. Let's get some more info on that. You can advance one assembly project at a time, which takes multiple days to complete and usually costs... Oh, that was a sneeze. And usually costs a resource such as Illyrium. You can assign agent to assembly duty to speed up the current project. However, they will be unavailable for mission situations. Illyrium has, is one of the three resources Reclamation requires. It is spent to complete the project's assembly. I could definitely see the potential for, for modding here. Like, Could you imagine a long war for this game? That'd be pretty crazy. That would be pretty crazy. I can only imagine it's going to get even better. Uh, let's see. Select and start. Any, oh, Androids. We're, I guess we're going to make Androids. Does it cost two days? Grants one Android tactical unit. They're purchased with supply. It says it costs 10 Illyrium. Oh, they're purchasable, purchasable in supply. Okay. So we have to research them and then we can buy them. Right? Is that, is that it? Everything else is... Project already in progress. Okay. And new recruits. You can now select an agent and add to your squad. The army is where you manage your agents. We can load out, manage weapons, armor, and other items, abilities, unlock new abilities, and promoting agents, and get their biography, and tint their armor. Oh, yay! Barbie dress up. Barbie dress up. More slots become available in loadout by completing assembly projects. Promotions are awarded to agents based on their performance in combat. New ranks come with increased stats, new abilities, and new training programs, all of which you see and manage here. One thing I did notice... convinced the city council we're too understaffed to be effective. This means we can bring more agents to City 31. It's not the whole squad, not yet, but it's something. It's one of those things where it's like... I did notice that everybody has a gargantuan amount of health. Like, look, look, you start with nine health, nine health, eight health on him. And... Is this the... This is the... I think this is the melee dude, isn't it? Agent punches an enemy and inflicts one of several status effects. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to grab him. I think we're going to grab him. Um, this looks pretty cool. The Muton, I, I quite like him. High damage, cover destruction, surrender or don't. I'm fine with either. <laughs> uh, but you have some shitty mobility. And God, look at your aim. Why? Why is your aim so bad? Zephyr, you made it. Yeah. You grab a locker? Yep. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. No. <laughs> Does she have an Australian accent? Is that really what we got here? No confirmed pass. She yeah. confirmed Australia. Suggested she was a scattered record. Suggests she's an Australian. Undergo a hybrid amalgamation. Oh God. Oh God. So she was human, who was reforged into an advent. City 31 worked as a loyal advent soldier under the psionic network, separated from the psionic network by the skirmishers' resistance, joined the skirmishers, and quickly rose in their ranks, operating primarily in City 31's region. Fought, ad, fought advent alongside XCOM during the war, was present for the fall of City 31. Damn, that's awesome. Left the skirmishers at war's end, applied to Reclamation Agency after falling, failing to uncover her human past. Recommended for Chimera Squad by multiple XCOM soldiers. She once fought beside. That's awesome. She's a buffed Advent soldier. Yeah, she is. Look at her, dude. She is freaking awesome looking. What's her ability? What do we got here? Agent, agents earn XP on missions which lead to promotions. Each new rank provides increased stats and some unlock new abilities and new training programs at certain levels you have a choice between two abilities and decide which one you want okay cool and we don't get a look at we don't get to look at any of them i am so very disappointed i am so very disappointed oh that's all i get for armor tent are you kidding me no zephyr punches and flicks okay yeah the status effects momentum zephyr is immune to root and gains additional movement after using crippling blow. That's pretty cool. So she gets she gets to move like a, so she's essentially a Templar. Fearless advance. Zephyr blisters toward an enemy and melee attacks after the breach. This will position Zephyr near the enemy. If the enemy was an alert, the alert breach action is canceled. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she's gonna be fun. I got a feeling she's gonna be fun. All right, Burge, what's up with you, dude? 
Let's see. We don't get to look at any of your abilities because you're a scrub. So you didn't get any experience, you scrub. You scrub, you scrub. Uh, support for an infiltration unit. Uh, oh, he was a support. He's support for infiltration unit of thin men. He worked, actively worked to subvert human governments, experimented with delicate long-term mental control of human subjects. Wow. He was 15 years old. Signed a long-term control of an influential human who could keep the populace docile with <clears throat> comprehensible, reassuring answers to their questions about aliens. Selected as a candidate for conversion into sectoid infused with human genetic material. Post-conversion post exhibited signs of empathy toward the human populace. Quietly began to tip off resistance groups. Served as a mole aiding the resistance. Nice. Spent time in a detention camp until XCOM realized his role in the war. Agreed to reclamation agency transfer. So they ended up putting a lot of the aliens in camps, which is what you would expect, realistically speaking. I'm not going to lie. I was... Uh, I was expecting mass purges. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because let's be real, humans be human and humans be human. Cherub belonged to the empty cohort batch of hybrid clones with full advent training, but no advent indoctrination. Emerged from his clone crash, immediately befriended two XCOM soldiers, 18 years physically old. Zero years old. Oh, that's cool. So he's literally a, he's literally a babby. Transferred to do a detention center. Exhaustive testing revealed no advent sympathies despite being part of the Bellus Mar clone line. Released from detention and recommended as a test case for XCOM utilizing skills in enemy cohort. Transferred to Reclamation. Okay. Sweet. Generic Babby story. What do you got? Only a child of the factory worker and a cook. The only child of a factory worker and a cook. Parents died in the initial invasion. Her uncle fled with her to a Reclamation camp. So, she was effectively adopted by a doctor. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. Sad story. And what about Godmother? What do we got here? She was a national tactical police officer with few years of experience in France, of all places. Went to ground after the fall of Paris, but for this year, searching for her family. Provided operational training in nascent European resistance groups. Strongly advised against direct direct resistance which she learned brought overwhelming reprisal rage connected with XCOM proper during the leaner during its leaner years remained a friendly asset as the organization rebuilt itself in 2332 she developed a formalized tactical training program to screen XCOM recruits very nice very cool she was a liaison to allied resistance groups very awesome very awesome all right well that's our team so far Let's see what we got next there is a critical combat mission target available investigate the project Ooh, we get credit resources. Okay. And difficulty easy. Whisper. Let's see. I'll keep you updated on activities. All right, my dudes. Reward 30 credits. This is basically the only mission we got. Let's rock and roll. The following activities are currently undressed. There is one or, one or more agents is aisle. Are you sure you want to proceed without completing the... Wait, 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 wait. What? What? I, did I miss something? I missed something. I, I totally missed something. Um, no additional breach items. I'm, I'm, what? 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 I miss. I missed something. Did I not? Assault rifle. So basically, basically nothing. <laughs> basically nothing. Come on. So breaching charge. That's what he gets. But he doesn't. We don't have anything else. And he can only equip this one. Um. Okay. It is funny. He was, he's got the shield and he took like a shot straight to the face. So I don't, ah, agent's idol. Here we go. Okay. Did he just join or something? Oh, 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 oh. Do I need to put somebody on this? Um, hmm. Zephyr is unassigned. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I kind of want him to come along on this next mission. Um, hmm. No, no. Let's uh, let's do let's do this. I kind of want to send Cherub out on this next mission, or Zephyr on this next mission. We'll see about that. Unfortunately, I need to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Stand by.
All right, my dude. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, real life just comes and smacks you in the face whenever you, whenever it decides to do so. So, oh, the great and powerful wife is gonna bring me some more coffee. Yay! All right, so we can only send four of our dudes at any given time on APC duty, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get on our mission. Hostile Investigate the project. Need leadership to function. If authorized by the director, we may need to neutralize a hostile leader. Subduing your target is always preferred. Enemy leadership, if captured, provides valuable intel. Very basic. Very basic here. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna say I'm not very um, enthused by this, but uh, it, 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 it should be all right. I don't, I also don't, I also don't like the fact that you can't change their weapons. Everybody just has what they have based on their character. But that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. I'm sure that's something we can work out later. They probably do get upgrades and whatnot, so I'm, I'm not overly, overly bothered by that. 3-1-PD asked to speak with this company's owner about his connections to the progeny. That's when his staff I might be expecting too much on that. And the police barely made it out. That's bad customer service. <laughs> 3 1 PD, take any hits? Well, they took no casualties. Try to do the same in there. All right, my dude. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we got the side window. Unix can use run and gun ability on their first turn. Okay, so that's going to be. We're going to put Godmother there. Um, entering through this marks your units until the end of the encounter. So the side window, enemies are harder to hit. So I probably want to give that to, oof, I would say Cherub, but, um, is, are all of them marked if I go this way? Marks your units till the end of the encounter. And you can only, you can only see four enemies here. This is low visibility. Army, you know what? I'm going to send him, uh... He's got that thing. Uh, maybe we maybe we send Terminal through there, and then we send Cherub and Zephyr. Let me let me do this. Let's do let's do Cherub first. No, excuse me, Zephyr first. I want the melee bro first. Then we do Cherub. Because this is going to allow her to basically flank and immediately annihilate someone which i'm hopefully hopefully it's gonna be good so I, she doesn't really have very good aim anyway so might as well give her the debuff i could have went with her with low visibility but i don't know how that works maybe that's what we do you know what let's give that a try let's give that a try let's uh let's get terminal let's remove her let's put terminal here and we'll put chair up here wait god dang it uh, let's go. There we, there we go. Okay. Do we want to do the side window first? Let's, I want to see if this works because if it's low visibility, enemies are harder to hit. Good morning, downslide. Greetings and salutation. It goes well, sir, so far. We're trying to finagle it because I have no, I have no idea how any of this crap works. So basically what I'm doing here is we got, enemies are going to be harder to hit. So I'm, a, I'm not going to assume she has a hundred percent chance to melee attack. But I'm assuming that because she gets to run across with her initial um, breach ability, that it will allow her to negate this negative. I'm hoping. All right, my dudes. Here we go. Go, go, go. In we go. Surprised. 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 Look at that. Look, there's a there's one all the way in the back. I don't know where he is. This one is the one I want. And we're gonna fearless advance. So fearless advance. Zephyr charges toward an enemy after the breach sequence and then attacks them with a melee strike. This is We'll start the encounter adjacent to the enemy. This is the reason I did this, is because what the reason I came in through here is because as you can see, she has a hundred percent chance to hit. So she's gonna charge that guy all the way over there. Okay, so what do we got here? That dude's 
That's I did surprised, but he's he's still fairly close. They're fairly close. That guy's chilling over there. Um, that guy's the one that she's going after. So this guy way in the back, he has a hundred percent chance to hit him. So I think I'm gonna shoot him. Hundred percent chance. We shouldn't pass that up. We shouldn't pass that up. Um, hmm, there's quite a few enemies, man. Quite a few. I think we're gonna go for the dude in the back again. Go ahead and put him down. Oh, this is nice. What a uh, oof, oof. So do we go for the the fat one, or do we go for this one? I think we go for the for the guaranteed kill here on this guy. No! It said a hundred percent. What? Did it not just say a hundred percent? Did I miss that? I missed that, didn't I? Oh my God. Once per mission, an agent can be moved on the timeline so that they take a next turn. This ability is shared with the entire squad. Dude, I swear. No, it was 94. It was 100% on the other dude. Oh my God. It's nice. Uh, oh my God, dude. That's, ugh. Stand by for me. All right. Okay, so she took him out. Now what are we gonna do? So, oh my goodness. Uh, we got the dude in the back. We got one dude here, one dude here. And so we got three left. Okay, this shouldn't be two. Who's next? It's this guy. This guy's next. And then he is after him. This guy right here is the after this guy. So, Crippling blow. Subdue is her still really low? It is. It is. So we're going to... I'm probably going to go after this guy. Probably going to go after this guy. Does she have any, like, cool talents or anything? Team up? Preparation? What is... Zephyr prepares for next turn by increasing defense by 30 and their dodge by 50. Their next turn in the move on the timeline. Remove, removes burning. Okay, so... Hunker down? Is that essentially what that was? The guy was standing was 100%. Yeah, yeah, I know. I realized that. It's just like, oh, man. I just... I figured I wouldn't get the kill. And 94%. Ugh. Ugh. So what do we have? Four to five. So this will be a guaranteed kill if I hit him. And then we should be able to come back over here and stand next to this dude. Which I'm hoping for. Because she gets to she gets to do her thing. I don't know. Does she get she gets momentum? So all she can do is move. It doesn't mean that she's going to do anything. Okay. I th and Cherub goes after... Okay, so Cherub's not going to get that kill, but he will be able to flank him pretty hard. All right, so we're going to we're gonna give this a try. I'm going to go for the kill. I'm going to go for the tactical solution here. Skadoosh. She's got some hustle, at least. At least she has some hustle. See what I mean about the, the difference in HP? Like I, 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 I'm not going to lie. I expected it to be the other way. So I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. Like, I'm, I'm assuming she doesn't get, like, Blade Storm yet or anything. So standing her next to the dude is probably not going to be conducive to her doing anything. Um... Could put her right here, but he could flank her. I, I really don't know how this is going to work. Um, see, Godmother's going to take this dude out. Godmother doesn't go until last. Oh, that's right, because even though I gave her the running gun ability, she's... Yeah, okay. Well, that sucks. That sucks. I'm just going to go here. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Probably not the best. Now, what is this? Kinetic shield. Places it on himself or an ally to prevent all damage on the next attack. He gains one charge with the energy.